Lucas Me Lucas Media. So Keith Lee, social media influencer. I'm seeing this on Facebook. It says Keith Lee visited visit a restaurant in Dallas, Texas called Sweetly Seasoned. Before he left, he gave the owner four thousand dollars plus an additional eight hundred sixty, so all the customers could eat for free for the day. The owner was supposed to keep two thousand dollars for herself and split the rest of the money among the people who helped her work for that day. Instead, she chose to pocket all the money for herself. People are also reporting that she only allowed three customers to eat for free. After she instructed her employees to charge everyone else. And now she's going viral for that. And I seen a video where she responded to it. And she said that if she wrong, Keith Lee need to come out and tell her that she wrong. And Keith Lee made a video and said that he did that out of kindness of his heart. And she chose to go against that. And instead of her splitting the money with the people that was there, she kept it all for herself. I mean, are y'all really surprised by this? Honestly, y'all know how we are. Even if there's $15 involved, people going to keep that money for themselves. We are so greedy when it comes to money. Now, he already, he came out there and gave you love. He didn't even have to do that. And you got the Keith Lee effect where you would have easily made that money and more. But now your reputation is is tarnished because you want to keep that four thousand dollars. Now was it worth it? You might have made a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. You could have made your had your own store. But this is what we do in our community. Honestly, we don't understand that money comes and goes. It's like you know we see two hundred dollars and we oh, oh, oh uh, it's for me, it's for me and me and me. And really, $4,000 isn't a lot of money. So for you to keep that, I don't know. Now you get all this black publicity and you said that even in the screenshot, I paid my son. But what him and his, friend, his friends got to do, they ain't going to do with me. And and I mean, we, we greedy people, man. I'm sorry. We greedy. Um, you've heard stuff like this over time. I remember... Uh, I was at church at one time in Milwaukee and we used to go door to door, right? We would go door to door and try to raise money. We ended up going to the rich neighborhoods out in the suburbs. Do you know that the guy tipped us? He gave us like a $50 tip on top of us, him um, buying the crackers and stuff for us. And we were supposed to split it. You know, these grown men at the time, they said, yeah, we're going to give you all $25. They kept that money. Then they try to charge us $15 to get home for gas. Talking about they don't have gas to get us home in the church van. So, I mean, you see stuff like this all the time. I mean, it's hard to give us money, man. I'm sorry. It, it is. It is. Um, we don't understand business, networking, publicity. You know, if she would have gave all that money to the employees... Look how much she would have got back. Look how much good publicity she would have got back. But now you're being dragged and you're going to forever be known for the greedy woman who kept that money. But I just want to get my quick thoughts on it. What y'all think?